You know, we've come off of two or three hot years of strong industry. Farmers are now under more pressure. There's, there's a little more of a profit squeeze on the farmer because commodity prices have come down. So our answer to that is to try and find ways where we can help them use less inputs or increase their yield on the same amount of inputs. Essentially provide technology that makes them a better farmer. We do that on our new machines, on our Fent and Massey Ferguson uh, products uh, here in North America, as well as our PTX solutions, essentially our retrofit solutions that serve all farmers regardless of brand, our mixed fleet retrofit approach. Technology is a very important thing. We expect that the next decade for agriculture is going to be the most innovative decade in the history of the industry. We've been automating features um, one after another over the last several years, essentially putting things into autopilot for the farmer, solving some of the most difficult tasks, having the machine do the job for the farmer. We've invested 60% more in engineering now than we did a few years ago. We invested in several tech companies. But this last year, we, we invested $2.3 billion in building PTX. Precision Technologies Multiplied. And essentially that's bringing precision planting and Trimble Ag together into the most powerful, most capable innovation crew to solve the toughest problems in agriculture and the best retrofit channel in the industry. So best innovations, best farmer support, all to be the leader in the industry. Well, we aim to be the most farmer focused company in the industry. Essentially that means starting off with understanding their pain points, understanding what challenges they have with agronomy and growing their crop. Based on that, we've really invented this whole retrofit um, solution. Retrofit is upgrading a piece of machinery so they can do more on their existing machine um, with new technology modules. We also bring new technology onto our, our Fent and Massey and Valter products. All of that is around bringing new solutions to have uh, the, the machine be able to understand variations in the soil, variation in the crop, and have the machine solve that problem for them. In parallel to that, we're coming up with clean energy solutions. Essentially, society says don't use as much fertilizer or pesticide or herbicide or even diesel fuel. So we're investing in our machines for both uh, um, automation as well as clean. Clean energy solutions we have today are our engines can run on renewable diesel, we have a battery electric tractor, and we're investing for the future in terms of hydrogen and methane. Both are solutions we think that will serve probably the most innovative decade in the history of agriculture to solve farmer problems. You know, these trends in farming are, you know, they've been behind us, but they just keep getting faster. And that is, labor's a problem, need to be a, a better efficient use of their inputs, and we've got to feed a growing population. So the farmers squeeze, they need to get higher yields with more sustainable use of inputs. The only way to solve that equation is through technology. We're investing heavily in technology. We've put 60% more in our engineering budget. We've invested six tech companies. We just bought, we closed the deal on the biggest ag tech deal in the history of our industry, $2.3 billion deal to bring PTX together, precision technologies multiplied. All of that around automating solutions and clean energy. We think those are the two big drivers that uh, are on the path for the next decade of helping farmers be a better farmer in the future. You know, Agco aims to be the most farmer focused company in the industry that it starts with understanding what are the pain points of the farmer and how do they want to be served. So it informs a lot of our technology solutions and the innovation there, but it also forms how we're thinking differently about distribution. We've completely rewired our thinking on serving the farmer. We call it farmer core. And the whole notion is taking all of the work that used to be done at a brick and mortar dealership and bringing it to the farm. So we couple digital solutions so that the farmer can research online, order online, doing all that, as well as an on-farm mindset. We have these really nice service trucks that our dealers can use to take all of the service work, all of the maintenance work out onto the farm, doing it when and where the farmer wants to be served. Convenience is king. The farmer wants to keep running during these key periods of planting, spraying, or harvesting, and we want to be able to serve them differently than anybody else. Farmers love it because it's more convenient. Dealers love it because it's a more flexible way to grow. And we love it because it's a differentiated way to serve the market. Our competitors are going to have a very difficult way to follow us because they are heavily invested in brick and mortar. We want to do it the way that the farmer likes.